questions uh, for the KSF and the SCA to have. Uh, I see I don't start with you. Which is what are your thoughts, what are your feelings, your emotions um, on being a national champion? I mean, the stadium doesn't hit me. Like, I don't know. I don't think this is real. Like, it's kind of crazy, this tournament. I still can't believe it. Um, but uh, just I feel like winning another match. It isn't like I have not like a amazing thing, right? I, like I'm, I'm happy, but like I don't know how to like react now. <laughs> um, it's been a tough week with the weather inside, outside. You know, your semifinal, you started outside, played inside. Now today, it was, you know, it's sunny. You're outside. How did you kind of feel your your tennis was throughout the week to kind of get you to today? Um, I feel like I definitely like the courts here. They're like really nice court, no matter like it's outdoor or indoor. Um, the weather, it's, um, I know there's like raining and stuff like that, but I don't think it really bothered me because it's like, like both by like we have to deal with it together, like me and my opponent. I mean, just, I just focus on like just doing my job. I didn't really let the weather or the court bother me. And you did lose set uh, in this tournament. Is that something you think about, you know, as you're playing, as you're winning? Do you know that that's happening, or do you just think about, you know, the match that you're playing? Um, I don't really think about, like, dropping a set or not. I just focus on, like, the current point, the current shot. Like, I don't really think that, that much. I just more, like, focus on enjoy playing, like, every point. And how did you feel um, you played today? How did you feel your game uh, matched up with Lane's game? Um, she's definitely a really good player. She doesn't miss at all. Like, I feel like throughout the matches, I'm just telling myself like I have to be more aggressive, like come to the net or like like hitting those winners. Like she definitely run like around the court. She save every single ball. She's a really a brilliant player. I mean, I just catch up like few like deuce point, which like makes a difference. I think. And I'm gonna ask you a question now about. Your, uh, one of your coaches who's sitting next to you. What has the support been like, uh, you know, over the course of, of the week uh, to, to get you here from your coaches? I mean, not only this week, like this entire season, not entire year, like coming to UCLA, like coaches help me so much. Um, they just being, not only being like a coach or even like a family for me, because I'm here alone and they're always like supporting me, like helping me and then during this tournament too, they just take care of me so well. Like I can feel like they're just behind me, like always supporting me. And um, like Coach Rance and like Coach Errol, like they're like here. Also Coach Stella, she went back, but she was here like earlier. Like they all support me so much. I know they believe in me, so I have more faith in me because of them. And Coach, I'll look to you now. Um, you know, the second individual uh, national champion in school history. I know it's a little weird when she's sitting next to you, but what does a kid like Tian mean to the Bruins as a team? You know, as you can see, this young lady is very humble. When you get the combination of being humble and hungry, it's a deadly combination. And um, so coachable and so so nice to be around. And she's so well liked on our team. And you know that always doesn't come with great players. And uh, she's a true team player. And uh, again. She's just embraced us. It's it's we're it's a pleasure being with her, in whatever capacity we're in, on and off the court. It's always a pleasure to be with this young lady. And to have a freshman kind of step in and, and rise to the occasion in the, in the way that she has, obviously I would assume that doesn't come around um, all that often. Just what has that experience been like? What, how have you watched her evolve um, over uh, the course of this year? You know, it's. Um, I don't know if she was a little scared, a little nervous, but uh, walking on a campus like UCLA in Southern California, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to any freshman, even from California. And, um, you know, she came in with another freshman, happens to be her best buddy, and she has a great support system. And um, I think uh, having her, I was been fortunate enough, Carrie Phoebus was one of my students from a junior on, and that's how I got involved in the program. So to be part of both of these in very s small parts, and it's been special. I've gotten to see f uh, a, a, a big involvement. Uh, we're very fortunate Jen Brady came out today. She got to meet Jan and take pictures. So it's a tradition that we have at UCLA is 
and the direction we have from Mr. Martin Jarman, it's it's amazing. The whole university and all the coaching, all the coaches from other sports, uh, the support system you have is just amazing. And I'm curious, since you were kind of involved in both uh, players to, to win titles, how are they the same? How are they different? You know, they're Bruins. <laughs> Carrie called me last night and wanted her number and text her. And that character, that that's, it, it just makes you feel good being part of something like that when these young people understand where they're at and now you have something like this. And like she said, she hasn't quite hit her yet and it might not all summer, but when uh, she goes back to campus, I think uh, to see what it's like to be a champion at UCLA, it's a special place. It's a special place and she's a special young lady and we're proud to have her. And yeah, last question for you. Um, what are your plans for the, the summer? Are you gonna kind of play any tournaments or, or what, are your, what are your plans? Um, I'm gonna go back to UCLA tonight and then I can't wait. And then <laughs> I probably will stay for a couple of weeks for like there's a bunch of uh, 15 Ks in California. I'm probably gonna play that and then go back to China because I haven't been back home for a year. And then there will be like tournaments in China too. I'll probably play those and see how it goes. I'll be back for sure. I have a lot of things to say. <laughs> so, um, not like, I know like the coaches helped me a lot and then like this entire tournament is so amazing. But there's also like my friends being back home text me every day, like supporting me. Like our trainer, are like, like um, they all help me so much. I just want to thank them. And then this is not like winning this match literally is not like for myself, for the title. Like I really want, want to do this, want to win this title for them who helped me so much. So it's really for the Bruins. I actually, then I will ask you, um, are your parents watching back home or you know, your family, your friends? I know it's a, the time difference is a little crazy. So have they been following live this week or after? Um, yeah, my mom's watching every single match and my brother too. They're like staying up like late and also my coach. I want to Thanks a lot for them, like, who always supports me back home, like, staying up the whole night and, like, like just watching my match. And thanks for my coach back home because he's, he's a great guy. He, like, not only teach my tennis, but also, like, coach me at the person who is off court. Like, I really, I'm really grateful. Two quick things, Tiana, we, we joked before. How important has the, the pokey been? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of superstitious, so like I have a routine that I have to follow. Like, like just like, I mean, I've been having Pokeball for the last like entire week, every every day. Like, I really like it, but like as of now, I'm kind of sick for it. I don't want to see like Tuna again like next two months, but I guess it works. So we're just like stick with that. <laughs> And Coach, one final question. Sure. We're talking about going in, too. To be part, A, she's a special individual, but to be part of such a historical event here in Orlando, we had talked about going in, Division One, Two, II, and Three, to seeing the camaraderie on the, the courts there. This has never happened before, and you've had a long, special career at UCLA. What does it mean for the sport, you think, moving forward? And then what do you take away from the whole experience here for the you know, three weeks you guys have really been here? Yeah. You know, Martin Black, man, with the, coming here and trying to – have a home for college tennis. And we see other sports and college athletics have a home. And I know that USTA has really tried to embrace uh, college tennis and, and there's different pathways now. I think it's an acceptable pathway. USTA has embraced it. And coming to Orlando to a destination like this, is special for the kids. It's special coming here. Uh, the vision, you know, I've had several of the kids that uh, are summer campers that were playing in Division Two and Division Three out here. So, and being able to see some of the kids from UCLA, they look up to. It's it's been a total treat, and you know they do it well. You do it well here. Um, umpires, everyone. It, it's just a first class situation, and uh, the total experience for all these student athletes. I'll never forget it, and it, it's nice now. I'm old enough to coach their children now coming back, and. And to realize that what it meant to them to be able to come here, if it's around the 16, it's Elite Eight, whatever, to experience an, a, an athletic venue like this and a team, 
it's it's truly special. It's, uh, it's you know they've been individuals for a very long time, and it's easier playing I think sometimes for a team than themselves. And it this, it's something that they take away. And tennis is a, a really tough sport, and I think uh, it's nice to be part of it as a family, a community. And I think the USDA has done a great job here. And I hopefully we'll be back. There's some amazing college campuses and venues, but you know to now be part of a final here, to be part of an individual here, and to realize how special this has become. Um, and Lake Nono has embraced it totally. Tina, I guess to you too on that one. I mean, this is your first time you've been to the campus, but what has the whole experience been like for you? Um, <clears throat> this tournament overall is like pretty amazing. Like how I well organized, like all the staff, all the referees, and like they're like really good at their job and like keep us like all like the tournament going through like fluently. I mean, it's such a great um, experience. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with like here because I've been here a couple of times. Um, but just being here competing, it's one of the best, best experience. Awesome. Congrats. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>